when current is flowing in a conductor this then I put a magnetic needle here okay this conductor which is like this the current is going up I want to show it you this way in magnetic field uh, physics we will have to visualize three dimensions along x-axis y-axis and z-axis so all the explanation will require three dimensions now this is I flowing in this direction I want to show you this conductor and turn it like this or I can turn it like this if I turn it like this then I will see the cross section of this conductor this and how the current is going current is going inside the board I will mark it like this okay now if I turn this conductor this way the current is flowing in this direction and what you will see you will see a cross section of the wire cross section of the wire and the current is coming out I will mark it by a dot so this dot or this point of the arrow this shows the current coming out out of board and this is going in the board ok this is current going in the board this is current coming out of the board this is how we will show the directions ok now suppose this is the direction and I put a magnetic needle I put a magnetic needle here and I find the magnetic needle is in this direction ok this is the north and this is south so I say this is the direction of magnetic field because it always stay in the direction of magnetic field but if I put it here at this place what I find that it stays in this direction if I put it here it stays in this direction this direction here it is in this direction opposite to this here it is in this direction in this direction and finally in this direction so a magnetic needle is supposed to move along the magnetic field direction so this is the direction of magnetic field and this is the current going inside if the current is coming out if the current is coming out we find the magnetic needle stays like this which is opposite to the earlier one so if you make it clock or anti-clockwise this was clockwise this is anti-clockwise this is the direction of magnetic field magnetic field we will be showing by letter B and it's a vector quantity at any particular point it has a direction so here B is anti-clock and here B is clock when the current is going in and when the current is coming out how do we remember it it's very easy by right hand curl rule this you will uh, give a sign the direction of current here the direction of current is going inside so this I will put it inside here it is coming out so I will make it outside now this curl gives the direction of magnetic field here you see if this comes out this is the direction of magnetic field here I will have to turn it this way and this curl will automatically turn clockwise so that gives the direction of magnetic field so this is how we get the direction of magnetic field this is anti-clock and this is clockwise so this is a rule for a conductor straight current carrying conductor so remember now another thing from where it starts from where it ends answer we don't see any starting point because it is a closed loop this and this is a very important property 
of magnetic field that magnetic field is in a closed loop no starting and terminating so this is shape around a conductor the magnetic field now how much is the intensity how do we measure intensity of electric field that is by the force that we will see in the next lecture thank you